I first became sick back in August of 2010. I was a third year medical student. I had never had any medical issues whatsoever. When out of nowhere, I felt the worst fatigue of my life. I started noticing fluid accumulating around my ankles, horrible abdominal pain, um, noticing lumps and bumps in my neck. And uh, pretty soon those sort of unusual symptoms turned into multi-organ failure. My liver, my kidneys, my bone marrow, my heart, and my lungs all started shutting down. So I was admitted to the hospital and then transferred to the intensive care unit where I was so sick that uh, my doctors told my family to say their final goodbyes to me and a priest read me my last rites when I was 25 years old. Um, This is all before I had a diagnosis. We just knew I was dying from something. We didn't know what it was. Over the course of about 11 weeks, I was in this state of being really critically ill and and no one having any idea what it was. Some doctors thought that it was lymphoma. Other doctors thought that maybe it was some viral infection. Others thought it was an autoimmune disease. And the doctors just sort of kept disagreeing with one another and saying, it's not my disease, it's your disease, um, and sort of going around in circles. And I just sat on the brink of death for weeks and weeks. and didn't think that the diagnosis would ever come. And fortunately, um, one of my doctors thought that I had lymphoma and and suggested cutting out one of my lymph nodes um, to try to determine what type of lymphoma I had. And when the doctors looked at it under the microscope, they said, this isn't lymphoma, Um, this is something else that I'm not really familiar with. So my lymph node got sent all the way across the country to the Mayo Clinic and a pathologist there said, I think you're right. I I also don't think it's lymphoma. I think it's something called Castleman disease. Castleman's is a really rare disease, only about 5,000 patients diagnosed each year in the US. 